Hey YouTube family, how you guys doing? I know you guys haven't seen my face in a while. Um, I just got home from the doctor's office because I had a really bad toothache, so got that under control. But I wanted to touch on a little subject because um, I feel like sometimes black men feel like black women black women are in competition with them for some reason black men feel like you know we're trying to outdo them or something like that we're trying to, they feel like you know we are trying to belittle them or make them feel less manly but well no but but what a lot of men black men need to realize is that most black women we want to see black men do well we want to see black men prosper in life we want to see black men with you know, good jobs, good careers and stuff. We want to see black men that can not only provide, that can not only provide for themselves, but for their family. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's all this talk here on YouTube about, you know, black men being kicked out of the home because of government programs and stuff like that. And they feel like, a lot of black women don't need black black men and stuff like that um and that could be the farthest from the truth um and here is the thing is that a lot of times we are mad that you know you guys like to you know fabricate things or you know make up things and stuff like that that are not really true and y'all need to realize that most black women we work because we have to survive and majority had majority of black women have no other choice but to work and to you know take care of themselves the best way they know how because you know you know some a lot of women know that they can't really in the black community you can't really fall on you know wanting to you know not work and wanting to be a stay-at-home mother or whatever wanting to be a housewife we know that those options are just not available to us um and the reason why those options are not available to us is because of black men you know what i'm saying i think that well i know for a fact that you know most i i, I know that i cannot put all black men in this category but you know most black men pretty much really don't want to be with black women you know what i'm saying and if they do or if they are hard working and they start making a certain amount of money you know a lot of black men they're attracted to you know biracial women mixed race women lighter skinned women and it's nothing wrong with that like you know from the beginning of time i have said that there's nothing wrong with anybody having a preference there's nothing wrong with a black man having a preference but don't be hypocrites and be liars and come on YouTube and say that we don't want um um good black men. We don't want black men with jobs and careers and that want to take care of their families and stuff like that because we know for a fact that most black men are just not checking for black women. When they say, "Well, oh well, the 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 men that you want are not checking for black women." No, that's not what it is. It's the fact that no matter what, no matter what, no matter what black women do, you know, it's like we are always in the wrong. It's nothing that we can do. It's like we can never do anything right. Nothing that we ever do pleases black men. That's why you have so many, so, so many of these women that lighten their skin with these bleaching creams. They go out and get these fake asses and stuff like that. And they do all these things to alter their bodies because, you know, they want to attract a certain type of men. No, are all black women doing it? No. Do you have other races of women that alter their bodies? Of course. But I feel like black women, we have to suffer more. You know what I'm saying? Because our men, the men that we're supposed to want, the men that we are supposed to you know have families with and stuff like that have kids by make love to and 
have relationships with, you know, they don't want us. You know what I'm saying? It's like they hate our guts, you know? And there's nothing more attractive than seeing a hardworking black man. A man that wants to be a provider, that wants to do whatever he can to take care of his family, his children, his wife, girlfriend. It's a huge turn on. But, you know, y'all have it in y'all minds that the black woman wants to see black men fail. You know, and that's just the farthest from the truth. It's hurtful when you have a woman that's in a relationship and she's been with this man through thick and thin and he leaves her for a younger or more attractive woman, more racially ambiguous woman, lighter skinned woman. It's hurtful because it's like, you know, it's like I, I was never your type. I was pretty much just a starter chick. You never wanted me. You know, you never really valued me. You know, you didn't think that I was valuable. You didn't think that I was worth, you know, you know, being taken care of. You don't think that I'm worth being spoiled. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, we can't sit around and complain about our men not wanting us. We have to do what we have to do to provide for, for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If you are wanting to date outside your race to find a, a certain kind of man, then you mo most welcomely, you know, you can do that. But, you know, don't don't make up lies and say that, you know, we hate black men and we want to see them suffer and not have good jobs. Even if y'all don't want to deal with black women ever, you know what I'm saying? You should want to do better for yourself. You know, you should want to prosper in life and not just be, you know, a, a stereotype. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fit into a mold. You want to be your own person. But... I try my best to explain, to explain this, you know what I'm saying? But I also want to, also want to touch on something that, um, when a woman does not have to, when she doesn't have to work hard and she do eventually finds a man, um, that allows her to be in her regular submissive state, her regular feminine state to where she can relax and, um, exude feminine energy you know it's a it's a wonderful thing you know what I'm saying and I've actually I've actually you know have changed a lot and I've noticed that a lot of men are are more willing to do things for me open doors for me you know what I'm saying because I just have it in my mind it's like you know I'm a woman I'm not going to try to be something that not that I'm not you know so if a man is offering to do something for you I'm going to let him do it I'm not going to sit there and say Oh, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I'm going to do it myself. If he wants to do it, then let him do it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, I'm not going to chase after nobody. And I'm not going to take care of nobody. I'm going to be me. And if you cannot be that man, then I don't want you. But on that note, I will talk to you next time.